This is ABC Action News. Put yourself in their place. Imagine what they're going through right now. New tonight, a thief hits a Bradenton Animal Hospital and what he took leaves pet owners heartbroken. Good evening, I'm Jameson Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. First, ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith live to explain why pet owners are now at a huge loss. Ryan? Well, this Bradenton Animal Hospital stored a freezer unit right here where I'm standing. You can see right here the power cord was left behind the other night. And with this freezer unit stolen, we've learned tonight so are the remains for two local family pets that were waiting to be cremated. Duchess's family left heartbroken after deciding to put their beloved husky down. These pets are like their kids. Duchess was on her way to be cremated. The cons wish to keep her ashes. They just want that everlasting piece of them. And now this person can't. That's because the freezer holding Duchess and another local pet is seen right here in the back of this pickup truck hauled away from the Bradenton Vet Hospital Tuesday night. Kathy Richardson immediately called the owners. She actually just went silent, and I think it was the shock of, what do you mean? You know, what happened? Richardson believes whoever stole the freezer didn't realize what was inside. Who would want pets remains? Vet staff searched the neighborhood, hoping the thief threw out the two plastic bags, clearly labeled animal remains. That would be pretty devastating, actually. I would, I would be really messed up about that. Tonight, police are reviewing this surveillance video, trying to track down that driver. We don't care about the freezer. If it's not too late, just bring the pets back and put them at our back door. You know, that can be some closure for the, for the owners. And tonight, Bradenton police tell us they are now looking for a dark, medium-sized pickup truck. Possibly, they say, a Nissan Frontier last seen driving east on 17th Avenue. That's the latest live in Bradenton. Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.